Hi, this is Rob from RV Travel Buddy and RV Travel Quest. This is the 360 video. Just need to let you know that you need to view it from YouTube and it must be in high definition 720. So if it looks fuzzy, you need to change your adjustments. So today we're at Seaside, Oregon. Thought it would give you a chance to see what we see. Uh, we have a little bit of blue sky. Uh, a couple of people are out on the beach. It's been raining like crazy, so this has been the first clear day we've had here. So uh, that will give you a chance to take a, take a walk with us. And I need to remind you, you can turn the camera any way you like by using your arrow keys, or you can use your uh, cursor. And if you have an iPad, you can move your iPad up and down and see everything to 360 degrees. So once again, we're at Seaside, Oregon. All right, so we're at the Seaside Historical, Seaside Historical Museum. Museum. And can you tell me a little bit what this museum's about? The museum uh, has a lot of stories about the Lewis and Clark expedition. Oh, wow. From St. Louis to, to Seaside. Okay. And where they, actually they went to Port Clatsop and built a port over there in Astoria. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And on the return, they want to make some uh, uh, salt from the ocean, from the sea. Oh. Yeah. And this yeah. is the place there. where they found where uh -huh. this, the water is salty enough to make salt because over there where they were in Astoria, there's a lot of fresh water coming from the oh, river. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. And they had to travel about 15, 20 miles to get to this point so they can uh, Build, uh, make some make salt, salt before they yeah. give up. The so yeah. this salt white this, this white house you're talking about, what what is what oh, what is that? That's the vacation house that's, uh, of, um, owned by Mr. Butterfield. Mr. Butterfield. Oh, they gotcha. call it Butterfield from Cottage. Portland, oh. and they come here during vacation. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for sh uh, telling us about the museum. We're yeah. gonna take a look around. They were trying to make salt here. That's interesting. So he was saying that they couldn't make salt down in Astoria, so they made it here. This is what Seaside looked like in 1899. You can see it. And here is part of the seaside signal which is probably their newspaper and this is how they did it back then i could actually get in pretty close could you imagine having to put all those letters in one at a time to make a newspaper and then there's a printer oh my goodness <laughs> that must have been a long process just pictures of them making the paper there's an actual copy of one of the newspapers. That must have been really hard to make. So this is the Butterfield Cottage, which was uh, owned by a watchmaker. By a watchmaker, Mr. Butterfield. Uh, he lived in Portland. And he also invented uh, some kind of uh, instrument they use for navigation in uh, they use on the ships. Oh, gotcha. And uh, they have, there's a picture over there in the wall. We still have seen it, but... Uh, okay, we get to get a, we get a tour of it. So. It was built in the early 18 or late 1800s. Uh-huh. Okay, it was... Uh, wow, that ...located at Columbia in Ocean Way by the prom. And then in 1984, it was moved to the... Uh, this is part. It was donated to the museum. Wow, so they actually moved this. Yeah, they built the whole thing. Wow. wow. So this is Oregon's first seashore resort. Oh, that's what I was reading. I didn't realize it was him. Okay. okay. I love this stuff. So they, you say they still come here? Oh, no, no. This or was... They, uh, well, they used to come here. They used to... They used this as a vacation the way back oh, then. Gotcha. Uh, until they sold it to somebody. And then finally uh, they donated it to the museum, but whoever sold it later, 
Yeah. Or both the plates are related to the museum. Yeah. It's all made of seashell. <coughs> huh. This is really pretty. It's hard to believe this is a hundred years old. Yeah. Like to iron with those? Yeah. Pretty little bedroom. Baby's room. We're still in Seaside, but we took a little drive through the little roads and stuff and went to the south end of the town and drove some back roads and we found this cute little beach here. So a lot behind us, a lot of condos, a lot of homes, uh, vacation homes, uh, but this, this is a real pretty place. So I'm going to try to get a little closer so you can see the water better. Off to my left, on the ground, there's a, actually a little stream coming out of the, out of the side of the bank here. This is kind of interesting. Some pretty decent tide flow through here. It is nice. Let me turn this way a little bit so you can see the water flow without me in the way. So a little gem as we're driving around. We're trying to go to that mountain over there and see if there's some access on the road to get a view of the ocean. So uh, bear with us and see if we can get some pictures of that. So this is Cannon Beach. Kind of hard to get to the beach without a long hike and we're running out of daylight. But from here, you can see some of the pretty famous rocks that you can see from the beach. And uh, this place, uh, boy, it's changed over the years. It's this rock solid vacation home, but it is very pretty. Once again, you're in Cannon Beach, Oregon. So we came across a herd of elk. Hi, I'm Rob from RV Travel Quest. We're having uh, breakfast with Kaylee and Josh from the Freedom Theory. Oh, that's Sherry here, and we're at a Pig and Pancake. Pig and Pancake. Yeah, so we thought we'd try a little 360 and let you have a chance to look at this place. Food, food's great. Very good, very good. And uh, take a look around if you like. Uh, they guess they have a store here too? Yeah, a gift shop right over there. Uh, have you been through it? Have I been through it? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Well, the food's good. It wasn't too crowded. It is a Saturday. Yeah. And uh, we're both over at the Thousand Trails. Um, it's been treating us real well. The weather's been kind of back and forth. But anyway, nice nice breakfast. Come uh, When you get a chance to come down to Seaside, go to the Pig and Pancake. Definitely. Show right. up here. So, see you later, guys. So Bye. Bye. So I'm at the Carousel Mall at Seaside. I thought you'd like to see a carousel with a 360 camera.
this is downtown seaside and I'm not going to do too much here but uh, this will allow you to see the street a little bit. They have homemade ice cream. Homemade ice cream? Nice. But this is a really nice place to get out of your car and take a walk and all the stores. And there's everything here. So I'm here in a kite shop. What's the name of your kite shop? Northwest Winds Kites and Toys. In Seaside, Oregon, right? Seaside, Oregon, yes. Yeah, so uh, we uh, used to be involved in kiting too. So we're going to walk. He gave us permission to walk around the store and show you some of the kites. Right on. Thank you. Enjoy, not a problem. All right, cool. <laughs> So this is my favorite stuff, the stunt kites. Right through here. These kites come in every shape and size. These medium ones are kind of good for beginners. Uh, these are lightweight ones, so they got graphite in them, so they can fly in pretty light wind. Uh, the bigger they are, and then the lighter they have on some of their fabric, the lighter winds you can fly in. But a kite like this is actually great for a beginner. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, you can see some up in the wall here. Gotta like kites. And we got some parasails over here. You see uh, people like, these are very powerful kites. Uh, they, you'll see people with skates on and they'll use them for surfboards. The whole works. Fun stuff. And then, uh, you like uh, wind socks? That's my favorite. Decorative wind socks are. <laughs> you can't go wrong. More wind socks. Everything in wind socks. Wind socks are great for RVs. And of course, they got the spinners. This stuff is so much fun. There's some really pretty stuff up here. We do a couple. We have, are you familiar with like Spectra and Dyneema lines? We're coming to the end of the road here where it comes to the uh, roundabout, kind of a famous roundabout of Seaside, Oregon. So, it'd be hard to see everything, but... It's actually another pretty decent day for Seaside. So we'll take you around here and let you take a look. Let's go around the circle here. Stop here, this is just a look around. We're in an aquarium at uh, Seaside and we're going to show you around with a 360.
video. Oh, <laughs> 